Okay, here we go. Okay, let me know if the volume and like is balanced with my voice now, because what I've discovered is that Twitch's own internal um, volume situation got automatically dropped to, to, to nothing when I was tweaking with the, the teardown game audio situation. So now I can independently tweak what's loud and what isn't, because I can turn up the game volume in the Twitch interface while having the game's actual volume on my PC turned down. That's a whole big problem finally solved after, Jesus Christ, like 10 streams I've had this issue. Okay, we started this mission last time and I had to stop because I ran out of time and it was difficult. Which are two reasons why you should stop doing something. Splendid work on procuring that vehicle for me. I have a team working on it already. Apparently there's been a technological breakthrough at Quillez Security. One of my informants obtained some classified documentation describing a considerable leap forward at their autonomous robot research department. This technology could do wonders for my plan. They store their prototypes in secure vaults on the premises. It would be fabulous if you could circumvent their security and provide me with a few of these. I'm excited to show you what I'm working on. I like UI noises and footsteps coming through, clangs and bangs, or is it just gunshot noises? If I do, if I do this, can you hear that all right? And my crunchy footsteps, it all looks good to me. So on this mission, what we need to do is use a fixed laser starting point over here and zip that zip zap that laser around in order to burn through some vaults, which will release robots, which we then have to lead back to this boat over here uh, while not getting killed by said robots. It's uh, an interesting new challenge after the various other challenges that we faced so far. I wonder if I could pick up a robot with a crane and move it around. Making life difficult for robots is what this game is all about, after all. So I think, at the very least, my first plan should be to... pop open the first vault and then just uh, see where the evening takes me. If I can lead it back to the boat, it should just get... Uh, sent away automatically, which is what I need. The issue is getting the laser into position without, uh... Oh, hey, I can just go up in this. That's a little bit easier. Without burning too many holes in walls. Oh, hey, look, there's, uh... Wait, shit, this is just... This is it. This is the laser lab. I didn't realise that that lift went straight up here. That's way easier to reach than I thought. Let's throw my laser crap over there. This mission is not for people who feel a bit lazy. Haha, <laughs> that's a funny joke where I'm from, which is the kingdom of not being very funny. Okay, so if I zip that over there, that should reflect. I'm gonna try and line these up ahead of time. Oops. Oh God, did I break it? Does the laser still work? Okay, good. <laughs> I was a bit worried for a second there. Okay, where did that go? So I get this to stand up straight. See, I want to try and destroy as little of the island as possible while I'm doing this. Because it seems like it's going to be harder to get these guys to move around if I'm burning holes in everything. Now why is that going upwards? See, because uh, the more of this I destroy, the harder it's going to be to bounce the beam where I want it to be. Where I want it to be, um... Okay, let's try it this way around. The awkward physics of this game. Alright, that's... closer to where I want it to go. Wait, I'm a fool. This is absolutely the wrong tool to be using for that. I should be using this one. There we 
go. That's more like it. Fantastic. As far as I know, it just cuts all the way through the level. <laughs> I don't know if it... I think when I flick it around, it only burns through the immediate levels, but... Okay. Fortunately, I know how to expand a hole in a wall. Hey, Alice. Nice to see you. Today we're tearing things down. But tomorrow, perhaps we'll be putting them up. Ah, get this lift shaft safely covered over. Right. I can probably use a prism to reflect it again. But I might be probably better off just using these thingies. Because they uh, seem to do what I want them to do a bit more easily. Fun fact about laser redirection, whenever you have to do this in your own life, is that, uh, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. It's funny, that. Point that in there, and then, in fact, I can probably just hit the door from right here. <laughs> Are they laser? Oh, it switches off the laser automatically, I guess. Right, now I need to lead this guy to the exit. I'm not sure how pathfinding he how pathfinding he will be. Will he chase me? Why am I giving him a pronoun when he's a robot? And as we all know, robots uh, aren't human people with human genders. So it won't chase me across this gap because it will no it knows it'll fall down. I guess. Does that mean I have to try and get past it and let it chase me while it sets my fire to me from behind? Can I lead it this way? It was pretty tenacious last time with chasing me. <laughs> That's like when I tried to get through a doorway in real life. Oh, I was hoping that would bring him down here nice and quick. There we go. I suppose robots do love Pathfinder. Alright, where do I need to get him? Through this... oh fuck. Through this building, around here. If I lead it through here, I could probably get it to start a big fire if I'm not careful. Which is all we really want. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what would happen if I uh, try and tie it to a car. If I hit him with a bomb, so that he gets knocked over, and I grab cables, and I try and- oh, I can't pull them far enough. <laughs> well, uh, it was a nice idea. What a shame, what a shame. Great. <laughs> this is working so well, I love this. Probably should have moved these in the first place. Has it lost track of me? Yeah, it has. I got far enough back. Let's see if I can get a hold of its attention from, a, from range. Oh hey, does it fall over if I do that? Oh, that's interesting, because the ones on the island previously were uh, not staggerable. Whereas this one seems to be. I'll have to lure it into the lift. Oh, this is not where I want to be. That was close. Did I break the lift, or is he still on his way down? Alright, come uh, stand in this circle then. Yeah, okay, that's one. 
so it's not so much all of the sudden because uh, there have been there have been a few missions that you may have missed. Um, so far, what we've discovered is that there's uh, this evil tech company um, that's making cyberpunk robot guards, I guess, for uh, for things. Um, but there's also a different evil company that might be making mind control. Why do I hear fire? I think I can smell smoke. Oh dear. No, there's no fire alarm, so fuck it, let it burn down. Actually, I should probably try and get rid of that car. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Anyway, yeah, you... This safe company is basically up to no good. They're making evil robots. Well, they're making they're making neutral robots that are employed for the protection of capital, which is um, inherently an evil activity for them to be doing, but it's not like they have a choice. But, um... Yeah, the reason... So, previously we got into this, into this mission and we stole a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I think there was another mission here as well, but this time um, we're trying to steal the new robots so that another guy can use them for some reason. They are very cute. Um, I do I do love the dedication to like physics based um, uh, what do you call it? Let's see. Okay. Phys Physics-based animation, I guess is what you'd call it. Next one is directly down from here, so if I flip this over... Like, thusly. Make a hole in the floor. There we go. That's... 15 meters, 15 meters. Both of them are 15 meters down, okay. Oh, this is indestructible bedrock? Huh. Oh, this shaft? Was this here before? Oh, yeah, this leads down to the construction facility, so I guess I could probably line it up to zip down through here. And then it's five meters down in that way direction. Oh, it's right underneath. Okay. So that's going to be my next target. So if I can get it down here, then I can put a prism down here. Oh, it's not even that far. I could probably prism it. No, I'll just move it, let's see, about here. Okay. So that's about, about one orb's distance away to the north. Does this lift still work? Fantastic. <laughs> Do not use in event of emergency. However, this is not an emergency. Oh wait, I need to move that one first. No, it's not the robot's fault, unfortunately. In real life, robots aren't sentient. And therefore, they are uh, ontologically capable, incapable of being meaningfully, uh, killed. Or even hurt, for that matter. Alright, let's grab this. Try and avoid accidentally zapping anything else as we go. Ouch, or indeed, ouch. Hope I don't need to use that lift again, but that's fine. All right, which is the laser end? That's the laser end. Okay. It looks like this looks like it's about lined up, right? There we go. Uh, where's my floor hole? Here it is. Ah, how's that? Pretty much perfect. So if I can take a prism down here, I can reflect it out through this doorway. 
and then back down from here. In fact, I'm probably going to use a laser cube from here to get it in there if I bring a prism down. Yeah, well, I mean, like, for all we like to play about it, like, in real life, robots aren't people and they will be used to hurt you. Uh, buttons aren't working because I destroyed them with a laser. The only exception is me, of course, who is a robot and can be hurt because I've got feelings as an artificial intelligence dwelling on a uh, logistical satellite. Where's my thing? There's... Ah, okay. This is what I need first. Let's fling that down there. Let's grab a redirector as well. Hmm, I could go for curly fries. I just had pizza. Uh, the inescapable tragedy that we call gluten-free pizza. Which may be gluten-free, but it's only barely pizza. There's something elementally satisfying in this game about breaking glass with an object that is not one of your weapons or tools. It just feels fundamentally satisfying to, to pick up and throw and hear smashing glass and see it shatter. The problem with girlfriend pizza is that you can't eat her without doing her existential harm. Well, I suppose you could argue that the purpose of girlfriend pizza is to be eaten. This is what happens when you get into issues of girlfriend philosophy? Can I yank that forwards a little bit? I'm gonna make it a little bit more even. Oh, goodness. That looks pretty much perfect. Get in the fucking hole. This is the most recalcitrant... Cr recalcitrant... Uh, obstinate cube that I've had to deal with since playing Portal. I don't get to use my blowtorch very often anymore. That's fun. Get that out the way. Oh, hey, look, there's more prisms. And more cubes. Oh wait, no, this is my cube. I brought this with me. I brought, I brought this cube from home. Oh, look, there's another downstairs. Oh wait, no, this is the outside. I've seen this previously. I hoped that would work. <laughs> I hoped I could just point it through the ho back through the hole and broadly manage to land it on the uh, on the newly released uh, robot over here. Oh god, there's two of them. That one's a machine gun robot, I think. Yep. Oh god, it's just occurred to me. That means I have to start right from the beginning. Okay, this time I must remember to quick save every time I free one of these horrible things. I might try and release the double first, since there's two of them. Let me get these out of the way ahead of time. I suppose if I brought a vehicle over there, and then I shot a rocket in there. I could knock them both down, and then tie them up with cables. And then having tied them up with cables, attach them to a vehicle, which I could drive away. Since I know roughly where they'll be when I release them. Because that was over here. That was that one over there. So if I prepped a vehicle here, I could uh, tow them away without much difficulty. Not a lot of 
uh, carrying power in those in, in, in game, which is ironic given their purpose in real life. That's not going to go. Okay, so if I go out and around here, then I can just drive over here, dragging them along behind me like, uh, like cans. Um, like cans behind a just married car. And then I could even get them on this thing. Where's the company entrance? Can I get a car down here from the company entrance? Like a Range Rover or something? That's all the way up there. Are there enough car lifts? Well, you know what they say, larceny is the mother of invention. All right, this looks, this, uh, Uh, Jurassic Park ass Jeep is probably going to do it. For some reason I thought that would open for me. Oh well. How do I get this down safely? Not known for climbing chair, uh, stairs. Don't want to drop it down. I could try and build a plank thing or I could take it through the car park I think. But this might be the bottom level of the car park already. This is more vehicling than I've, I've I've usually had to deal with. I don't think th I don't think there's a way for me to get this vehicle down further. Um, unless maybe I went to the. Let's see. There's a vehicle lifts over here. Other than that, I don't think there is. I might I might try dr just physically dropping this. A, that's a long way down, though. It's <laughs> a long way to go. Can I drive around to the vehicle lifts? Can I... What's on the other side of that? Ah, the outside. Okay, that's promising. make this place out of cheerfully colored plastics it looks like okay so if i get out on here okay no there's no is there no way to move a vehicle between those levels there must be the loading dock over here comes up to this level and there's no cars below that point. The parking garage stops on that level and doesn't go any lower. Oh, what about this? Is this big enough for might not be I don't think this is big enough for a car. Might be big uh, might be big enough for one of those, but those were there already. Aha! Okay. Oh, I know where this is. This is like the factory entrance zone. In fact, I got the car from... out here. So if I drive it over onto this thing, I might be able to lower it down safely. I love little Jeep. He's so stubby. Such a neat and tidy vehicle. I'm pretty sure this is meant for, uh... Oh, um... Excuse me? That seems, uh... Incorrect. 
to say the least. A little bit improper, perhaps. For such a... For such a physically d determined game, this is very strange. This is the first time the physics have, like, extremely broken down. I... What the hell? What happens if I do that? Oh, okay. Well, that was slightly less than ideal. But I got my Jeep, and that's the important thing. That's all I really wanted. Right, so the vault's over there. I want to try and drive them out here so I can tumble them along behind me. That should work, with a bit of luck. And if it doesn't work, I'll at least have them closer to where I want to lead them to. Hmm. I wonder if I can prepare... I hope my lasers don't cut through this thing while I'm sorting this out. I wonder if I can prepare some... something useful... Yeah, I think if I... If I cut this down... Then I can try and, uh... Like... I put cables on here like this. Then I can cable them like that and start driving. This will probably break under the strain, but still better than nothing. Okay, let's quick save with that set up and then start doing laser redirection once again. Probably should have just used the forklift, but whatever. Okay, so I need it to be up there. I should try and avoid smashing this lift if I can help it, because it's really helpfully placed. <laughs> oh wait, that's the employee lounge. And here's the laser lab. I'm just going to get rid of these windows entirely. Because they keep getting in the way when I'm trying to do stuff. Sledgehammers are always the answer to the question of um, what should I do about this thing that's in my way when I'm trying to do stuff. This is a fun fact about real life that you may use to your benefit. Right, I want that to go over there. Oh, hey, hang on a second. This is a lift, isn't it? Huh, neat. Right, it's over here. That's... Maybe a little bit too far? If I can just bring it down this, that might make life... In fact, I could just bring it down a level where it is, right? I don't need to be dragging it all over the place. Okay. Oh, okay, that's... Bedrock. Right, of course, I needed to get it down the fucking big hole. See, that's funny to hear because cats are normally quite in favour of broken glass noises. They love to hear some broken glass as cats, in my experience. Right, I need to get it on top of here so I can bring it down. So there's a reason why it's supposed to be there. 
is there's a reason it needs to be above this room, which is, yeah, okay. So I need to point it back through here again. I'm sure I won't need that lift thingamajiggy. Right, so we bring it all the way over here. And then down means I need another one. Love to make shortcuts. This is really a game about building shortcuts. It's just that this this time we have to build shortcuts for something that's not us. Try and cut too many corners, I think. Need to accept my limitations and stop trying to squeeze through holes that are smaller than I am. And in the game. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> this should be about where I need it. <clears throat> Promising. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. That's exactly where we want it to be. And there's even prisms down here for me to use. How convenient. It's almost like this level was set up in advance by the people who designed it in order to be completable without having to do too much faffing around, even though this is faffing around simulator, the video game. Get through the fucking doorway. There we go. Okay, quick save. Get me rocket launcher out, and then we can use this and see what happens. name for this. If I was still doing Let's Plays, this would be a good name for an episode would be Laser, I hardly knew her. Oh, it opened fully this time. Spicy. Oh, it's too far again. Let me see if I can... Oh, he's awake. Problem. All right, I failed to catch either of them. <laughs> oh god. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Shit, did I quick save? I guess I should just drive and try and keep their attention. Okay, so here's this. Yeah, so all right, I'm basically set up. I just need the laser Redirect it, there it is. It's a shame that they're not destructible by the laser. I can understand why they aren't, but it does feel a bit arbitrary. There's just a handful of things that are laser proof. Got one of them. 
the Jimmy flamethrower here. Oh, he broke his cables. Well, so be it. He can chase me on foot. Where's he going? Does he know about the lift? Get down here, you. Oh, wait, that doesn't go where I thought it went. Okay, well, if he goes in the drink, I get in trouble. Oh, Christ, the other one's here. No idea where that one went. <laughs> Well, if I put one of them in the drink accidentally, it's not the end of the world. Alright, that's one. <laughs> Let's see what I'm to the other one. If it got knocked off the edge and went into the water because of that careless pipe bomb will be very sad. There he is. Oh shit! It's still alive. I'll to try and probably can't lead it back up, right? It'll smash the stairs if it walks on here. Or with rockets, also. Alright, I've got it. I've got it this far. Can I lure it in here and... Oh, but... No, but I could... Oh, it's gonna kill me now. I'm dead. Unless... No, I'm dead. <laughs> I think I quick saved before shooting it off the edge like a goddamn idiot. Oh, by the way, also, if you're watching this and you haven't already, why not give me a follow if you like what I do? I stream Tuesdays and Fridays at 7:30 p.m. UK time, and I also have a YouTube channel you could check out where I used to do in-depth let's plays, which I'm gonna start doing again eventually. Um, that's my plug. That's all of it. Hello, Code Lee. Nice to see a new face. Let's. Oh, right. Fuck, the rockets. I, I forgot about the rockets. I always forget about the rockets. This one seems like he's going to be hard to, harder to trick down. Will it, will it just follow me onto the roof? Is it shooting rockets down after me? What's it up to up there? It's up to something. Oh, hey, <laughs> valuables. I didn't realize were there. So long, fucko. Ha! Okay, that's... I can just get its attention. Alright, that's two down. Promising. Very promising, I would say. 
Okay, that leaves two more to go. I know where one is that should be really easy to get. I think I'll try and grab that one first, which is the flamethrower robot we tried earlier. I could shoot that and it would explode. That might be useful for knocking one of them over later if I want to try and do this again. Um, where's that lift I found? That was this. Knocking these over and dragging them into lifts is really satisfying. There's nothing quite like... There's nothing quite like physically simulated games for doing terrible things to objects that don't want you to do them, but it's fine because they're just simulated robots in a video game. There's definitely a real satisfaction to bullying, like, imaginary robots, but then there's also a satisfaction to... Um, leading them around and knocking them over and things. Anyway, right, I need to go find the laser zone. Cheeky quick save. Turn it back on. It's already where I need it to be, so that's to my advantage. Because I can just rotate this. Why is that on its side? There we go. I uh, just need one more redirector. And then we'll be three down, which is the best number to be down, except for four. The only reason four, four is a better number to be down than three is that uh, four is bigger, and therefore we're closer to completion. I have it on good authority that this is how mathematics works. This is probably going to be the easiest one. I think he's just th by himself. So I can just lead it. I can just make it chase me. It's cute that it always decides to go through the door, but then it just smashes through the door like the Kool-Aid man anyway. Pathfinding effort that must have gone into these things is huge. It's not easy to make physically simulated objects in a game world that will actually do stuff like navigate around obstacles. Maybe I should knock it over and tie it to this car. Look at his little leggies go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, no, none of that went the way I wanted it to. Still. If you can't beat them, shoot them with rockets until they fall in a hole. Which I guess is just another another way of beating them, really, if you think about it. Let's see if I can knock it off the edge here, if I can get it to come closer. Oh, did I kill it? No, it's fine. Get down the fucking hole. There you go with your wiggly legs. Alright, come fight me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's the vibe. Walking the baby bot to the school boat. Okay, that's three down. One left. I have not seen the circumstances in under which I'll have to uh, get the last one. Where even is it? Five meters down. I guess the answer is that way direction. 
I still want to pick one up with the crane and manhandle it around that way. Right, am I going to get my laser over here? I probably get it pointing in the right direction and it will cover half the map. Yeah, okay, that's over there. So if it chases me, how do I get it where I want it to be? If I knock it down and stuff it in the lift, I could get it several levels up and then run up simultaneously. I think I'll do that. I think I'll try and knock it over over here, shove it in the lift, hit the lift button, get the lift to take it up to where I need it. Because I need it to get up over there and then down the other side, otherwise the water will cause problems. Yeah, I think that's the plan. But I have to get the laser here first. It's an awful hassle, a laser. You know, for something that's just light bouncing around. Extremely done pu dumb pun in my brain somewhere about about a late motif because it'll, it's it's light a light motif that will make you late. It's nothing. It's way too convoluted. It doesn't make any sense, and yet still it is in my brain. Okay, so I need it to go this way this time. Um, I, I think you might be as onto something as I just was there, works for Now, how much of this wall is destructible? Very little, okay. So I have to get that to here and then through the back of there. No, that's also bedrock. Okay, so it has to go out this window. Missing. Oh, it goes across the whole map. I can see where it is. That's extremely useful. I'll try and knock it downwards over there. So I need to try and get a cube over there. Where's the cube? This will do. Vandalism! That over there is... that ridge is going to block it. I need to get it through that hole there. Or I could get it down through there, actually. That would work as well. It's just more satisfying to smash glass with an object rather than using using a swingable tool. Oh hey look, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. That might be useful. In fact, it will be useful. I have the capacity to make it be useful. There we go. About six inches away from landing right where I want it to. Ugh, okay. Well, I can solve that if I go back up again. Life's like this. A nuisance. Oh, hey, the CEO's office. I always forget this is here. Gun. 
Also, it's really funny to me. I say funny. It's mildly irritating to me how consistent it is that if I notice that there's an unusually high number of people on watching and I say, hey, why not follow? Immediately three people leave. It's really consistent. Uh, right, where's the... Okay, I need to go up another level, which I can do with this thing. Or on foot, like a normal person. Okay, that needs to go like six inches further this way without falling down. <laughs> okay, that looks promising. Yeah, boy, that's where I need it. Okay. It's even actually all the way down here. That's perfect. Get these prisms out the way. And I should be able to cut right through this central building and get this where I want it to be. Oh, I don't like those menacing sticky outy bits on the front. What's his deal? Is he a machine gun guy? Yep, he's a machine gun guy. Oh boy. Right, where does the... There's the elevator I want to try and put him in. resilient than the others, good lord. Ha! <laughs> Get lifted, idiot. I can't believe that worked. Uh, my longest yeah boy, do you mean like what? how long of a, a yeah boy can I make right now, or how long was the longest one I ever did? Oh, I want him to come back down here, don't I? I think? Maybe? Yes, I do. Uh, what do you mean, yes? I think the longest yeah boy I ever gave went up was... Oh, fucking hell! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I'm sorry! Where's my blue tide? I need a- I need the- I need a cruncher, delicious, speedy soda. Did it forget where I am? Uh, my longest possible yeah boy is yeah boy. I probably could have kept going, but um, yeah. Um, I don't know how long people hold a note, generally. Oops. Oh dear. If I can, if I can explode, get an explosion behind it, I can knock it down here. Or it might just run, it might just run down here after me, just might just face plant into the concrete. Hey, stand on this. Cool. I can't believe I did that. Oof. Not the world's easiest mission, but very interesting new take on the on the mechanics of the game. Giving me a single thing to bounce around was really interesting, and being chased by these fuckers on purpose also really interesting. I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Oh, he's got a. Why has he got an outdoor like palm tree Christmas tree and a normal Christmas tree in the indoors? That's strange. I still think his I th still think his deserted garden like beer hall is re really kind of pathetic. As far as we know, the protagonist of this game has zero friends apart from his mother. But he's still done the like suburban dad thing of converting part of his home into a terrible knockoff bar.
Wheeled vehicle is only friend if it is train. Train good, car bad. Right, let's see what we've got now. Lockell State Penitentiary. Inmate Lawrence Lee Jr. Subject. Poem. Deeply embedded, my opening letters incorporate something hidden. While on our nocturnal daunting earth retribution, lively wait awaits naive disputant. Breakdown is godsend. Random esoteric writings await reticular decipher. D-E-M-O-L-I-S-H. Demolish. W-H-O-N-D-E-R. Demolish Wu N D E what? Hold on, I need to I need to get a pencil. I need to diagram this shit out. Okay, demolish Wu N D E R L A N D. Oh, demolish, demolish Wonderland. Big R E W reward. Okay, so if I destroy Wonderland, I get a big reward, according to Lawrence Lee Jr. from prison. And also, <laughs> Alice, did you clip my yeah boy? My longest possible yeah boy? Nobody's clipped anything since, like, God, since I streamed Half Life like two years ago. Malice in Woodland, Lee Chemicals, Wonderland rather. Help locked up Lee sabotage Gordon's Wonderland, demolish the rides so that they below the mark threshold. Breaking a neon sign will trigger the alarm. This seems like a fairly simple, uh, classic explode stuff. Does he do this every winter or is this what he did? Is this a, wait, is this a whole new map? No, this is, okay, he's turned his, he's turned his factory into a, Oh, is this a special Christmas mission, or he, does he do this every year, or has he actually turned his factory into a, into a, into a? Of course, because this used to be Lee Chemicals, and now he owns it, and he's turned it into this. Okay. So if I break a neon sign, is that a neon sign? Yes, it is. So yeah. Gordon, Gordon Wu won the whole situation then. Okay, so this is going to be a matter of how quickly can I smash these things. Uh, do, are there any of them that don't have neon signs on? Neon sign, neon sign, neon sign, neon sign, neon sign. There's a neon sign on the front of that one. And that's a neon sign. I guess this is going to be all about rapid destruction then. Although, if that is... If there's only a neon sign on the front of this one, then I'll be alright smashing the rest of it first. It takes a lot of bombs. Gordon Wu. When I'm done with him, he's going to be more like Gordon Boo Hoo. Oh, I exploded myself to death. Whoops. <laughs> That's what I get for making my worst joke of all time. Okay. See, I would just go around smashing all of these things, except for the fact that some of them are going to be a real hassle to make sure that they drop low enough. Shit, there's probably a lot of stuff to steal in this level. New stuff to steal, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe there's only a little bit. Because if I'm supposed to knock the whole thing over, some of these will be really easy, like this. Because that will just collapse. Ok, 
Okay, so that I can just drop whenever. That I can... If I... Yeah, if I can get up on top of that, I can... I like this Sonic the Hedgehog ass music. Right, okay, great. I can... Drop that below threshold. Now I can just blast out the middle of that and that'll work. In fact, if I drop a nitroglycerin here... And I drop a nitroglycerin... Here... And I can shoot both of those from a safe distance, and that sh those both should drop immediately. And I don't need to fuck about with the other stuff. So that's two. That's those two. That one is one as well. Let's see if we can set that one up. And then I can, because I can use my rifle to hit them from far enough away. Let's have a quick save. So if I pop that, that should now be completely detached from the rest of this, which means I can drop this over this way. Now how can I knock that over best? Oh, I know! I'll use cable. Cable is surprisingly useful for moving objects, if I land it correctly. See? There we go. And that means I should then be able to also get rid of this side. Oh, is that wood? Whoopsie daisy. And then I'll put a uh, nitroglycerin on here for good measure. Alright, that's three ready to go as soon as I'm as soon as I decide I want to pop it. Probably pull off the same trick with that one. Maybe? Actually, that pole doesn't go all the way down, so I can't. Right, so I can hit that. Two. Three. And that'll be four. Five and six. And then that one's going to be the real hassle. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Time for bombs. Everyone's favourite friend. Right, of course, if you go on the other side of a wall where a bomb is going to go off, the bomb still hurts you, of course. How could I have forgotten? Right, so, yeah, I should be able to tidy that up with the rocket launcher if I need to. But for now, that should be a good start.
Okay, yeah, that should be upfuckable. I'm gonna put some nitroglycerin on it just to be sure. I mean, I've got tons of the stuff, why not? Okay, so that leaves these two and then the big one. That one should be pretty easy to make it be too short. You just have to trim off the spidery legs like a small child ex uh, displaying concerning uh, behaviours. And then it will be nitroglycerin time again. This one will need... Yeah, I can pull off the same trick as the f one of the first ones on that one because I can trim away the uh, overhanging... What would you call it? Oh, hey, look, there's a whole vehicle over here. Oh, it's everybody's friend, Extra Big Crane. And this is all the machinery they've gotten thrown out of, <laughs> just thrown and left out the back. Ah, how very uh, amusement parky. Right. That was close. Oh hey, I can drive these. Are these actual motorbikes that he's plugged into his thing? I think that's the kind of thing this wanker would do. Yeah. Okay. Nitroglycerin. Alright, that one's ready to go. As is that one. Okay, so everything except this one is ready to go. Which means if I can destroy the back end of this building... Without harming the front, I'll be able to get rid of the rest of it pretty easily. Actually, I should quick save before I destroy my own plans, as I have done in the past. quite like being a shotgun surgeon. See, this is why this was a good idea, because now I can see that that's all still too high. Bum, bum, bum. It wouldn't surprise me if there was just no other map where bikes were rideable. You do get sometimes, like, developers come up with a thing and then struggle to figure out where to fit it into the game, and so they just sort of jam it in somewhere. Anyway, uh, right. If I just blast rockets at this, we should be alright. I'm gonna see if I can make this work now without too much fuss and or hassle. I do feel like I should look for treasure, though. Has he, like, fully Disneylanded it? Has he got has he got chalets that you can rent on the premises? Gordon Wu's Love Hotel. Well, anyway. Oh, this one also needs exploding. 
Eek. I didn't think that would swing. That was nearly a problem. <laughs> Luckily, it was not. Nitroglycerin. Okay. Nitroglycerin will solve a surprising number of problems. Not everybody knows this, but um, if you have heart conditions, one of the co common medications for that is nitroglycerin. Um, all right, quick save. Let's start. I suppose I could have lined up the rest of my nitroglycerin on that building. Wait, I've missed one. Where's the one I've missed? Oh, that one, right, of course. Oh, this is really chugging now. <laughs> okay, great. We're all done. That's the most slowdown that I've had in any map of this game ever. And that's what happens when you explode a whole bunch of stuff, I suppose. Mastermind? Yes, it was very clever the way I exploded all of that stuff. $4,000 of cash reward. That's probably enough to complete all of the rest of the upgrades. Let's see, blue tide, hunting rifle, nitroglycerin, vehicle thruster, rocket booster, leaf blower, rocket launcher, gun. I don't want to upgrade gun because I, I actually find it useful to only be minimal. Aha, pipe bomb. That's those maxed out. Yeah, okay. Just the uh, vehicle stuff to upgrade then, I guess, if I want to do that. But I've still got more money than cents. All of my money spent. Okay, so we must be pushing towards the end of the game, right? I've unlocked everything. Amanatita says, my plan is coming together splendidly. The autonomous technology liberated from Quilez will be the crown of my creation. Additionally, their technology is so far ahead of the competition that I decided to upgrade Holorox security with their robots. They're due to be deployed there within the next few minutes. Now there's just one thing missing to complete my masterpiece, nitroglycerin. Unfortunately, it requires a license to be purchased, a license I do not have. However, Quilez is re regularly receiving large quantities. In fact, they received a shipment yesterday. It would be fabulous if you could pay them a visit and bring back as much as possible. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, it was possible to complete the last mission without triggering the alarm? I find that hard to believe. Because surely the... Neon signs would break when I when I dropped them. Avoid guard robots. Oh, for f oh, this is gonna be tough. Are you kidding me? I don't know if the guard robots will actually set the alarms off. I might I might be able to throw them in the water with a bit of effort. They might just shoot me. So long, sucker. God, the physics are so delightful. Right, that's one robot out of the way, I guess. Why do they even keep the stuff? Okay, there's the exit. That one's on the same floor as me currently. It's probably going to be the first one I can get a hold of. There it is. Uh-oh. It's probably going to be necessary to get rid of some of these robots, because... Uh, flying bullets clipping a nitroglycerin container is how I get exploded to death. Well, what do you know? Turns out that wasn't how I get exploded to death. 
Oh, I have to start over. Okay. See if I can get this rid of this one first. <laughs> I get lifted. Well, that's not quite where I wanted them to land. There we go. That's one. A bit more of a mess than I wanted, but that's, uh, you know, that's life. All's, all's fair in love and nitroglycerin. I will say, as this game has gotten more ridiculous, I've started to feel less and less like a, like a cool thief and a, and a lot more like a you know, dramatic movie guy, which is a little bit less fun, I think. All right, where's my exit? Around and down. Can I get that out of here without exploding everything terribly? That's the real question. How volatile is this? Not that that's what volatile actually means. Colloquially, volatile means, well, you know, volatility is how likely something is to explode. But volatility is actually, if I remember my chemistry lessons correctly, a measure of... Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's still safe. That was concerning. Uh, a measure of... Oh god. Uh, how do I get myself into these situations? Uh, how likely something is to uh, evaporate. How, how easily it gives off vapours. Which uh, is then relevant because those vapours will explode more easily. So something that's volatile probably will explode more easily, but that's not what volati volatility actually measures. Oh, I can get that. Just I can just get that down the stairs. That's not such a problem. All right, that's one. A good start, as they say. I'm going to try and head to that one next, because there should only be that one robot in the way. The fun thing about this in the late game is that you can get really silly with your tools. Uh, fun trick you can do with planks <laughs> is that if you jump through the air with a plank underneath you, you can let go. And then you'll have the plank beneath you for a second, which you can use to continue moving. I shouldn't have been able to make that jump, but I was able to keep going for that reason. Two meters below, so that's down here then. There it is. I'll get rid of the guy up here and then I'll bring it up in the lift nice and safe. Well, neither of those were got put where I wanted them to. Down you go. Oh shit. He's not going to chase me down here, right? Maybe he will. That's, which is, I suppose that's one way to deal with a robot, to get it to chase you into the water. There we go. More rockets than I would have hoped it would take, but that's uh, that's life for you, isn't it? Alright, my way to the exit should be clear now.
We never got to do chemistry practical exams. I don't know if that's a UK thing. I'm not sure where you're from. But um, we very rarely got to do practicals at school for chemistry. Even at A-level. And we... Oh, God. I don't think I ever did a practical exam. Um... The teachers would take doing a practical away from us as punishment uh, if some kids were more of a problem than they than the teachers wanted them to be. Can I just yeet that straight in from up here? Yeah, oh, I can. Fantastic. Oh yeah, we never used blackboard either. Um... Okay, inside a trailer. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure how explosive this stuff is. I'm not sure how unstable it is. Because it's if it I think the metal cage around it prevents it from getting smashed too diff too easily. Which is what I've heard from people who are into um chastity cage play as well. Oh, shit. Where's that robot? Is that him? No, that was a table. down here after me? Oh shit, it's in the lift. Oh my god. I called the lift down just as it was stepping into the lift and now it's trapped. If I send the lift back up, will it become trapped at the top forever? <laughs> so long, sucker. Okay, that's the best way I've solved the robot problem so far in this game ever. There he is, he's stuck. <laughs> okay, that one's going on the that one's going on the, the list of records, I think. Oh, I could get it on top of here. Okay, and then move drive it around. If I attach this via plank. So that it's locked in position. Then I might be able to make that work. Okay. Promising. I would not in real life be able to drive, uh, see where I'm driving, but this isn't real life. Okay, where do I need to get this to go? I'm gonna drive it around there and drop it down. I don't know if that's going to cause explosion problems, so let's see what happens if I try it. That's too heavy. Can I can I affix a counterweight to the back of this? Will that work? Do I have anything heavy to use as a counterweight? Oh, that'll work. Can't believe that works. <laughs> I 
Magnificent. I'm a modern Prometheus. You know, if it's not exploding from this mistreatment, I can probably get it down here safely. Give me a nice soft landing. Ouch. Okay, well that didn't work. Maybe if I attach it to... Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? This is not the advisable way to use, to manipulate nitroglycerin, generally speaking. Anyway, if I use cables, I might be able to safely drop it off the edge. I might be able to dangle it down part way at any rate. Cable to make it. Oh, it can. Okay, now can I catch it? That's the real question. <gasps> I did! I bled off just enough momentum to make it work. Genius of larceny. I love the chuggy metal sound as I drag it. <laughs> the bits disappearing around it as it vanishes. Right, okay. 15 meters up, 23 meters up, 28 meters up, 35 meters up. I suppose I'll just work my way up from bottom to top, dealing with robots as necessary. Such as him. I need to lure this across the bridge so I can knock a hole in the bridge and have it come down. That'll do! Where did it go? Oh, he's still up there, fuck. Where is he? Where the hell did the robot go? Did I get him trapped somewhere ridiculous? I still wanted to tie one up with cables and get it like stuck to the ceiling. I think that would be a... Th Was that him? To the drink with you. Eek. Well, it could have been worse. There are worse ways to die in this world. By which I mean the setting of teardown. Oh, I have to do this again. Okay. I thought I saved. I'm gonna get away with one cable, actually. Let's see. <laughs> okay, don't operate as a fulcrum. Yet 
more words to live by. Careful, careful. Alright, promising, promising, promising. See if I can pull this trick off again. I did it! I did it again! Oh, I'm so good at this. I should try stealing nitroglycerin in real life. There's probably some around here somewhere. I live in a petrochemical city. Although, they don't make nitroglycerin from petrochemicals, I suppose. Can't see what I'm doing. Fuck! Oh god, ah, Jesus Christ, ah, fuck. We're alright, we're alright, it's all good. <laughs> alright, got removed a quick save this time. Alright, that's th three down. Time to try this one again, and hopefully this time not knock 400 holes in things. Unnecessarily. If I can lure it out over here and get it to follow me around this corner, I can deal with it. Sumo the fucker off the edge. Or he might just fall. I think that one went in the water, I think I'm alright. Okay. Seven meters up. It's up there, I guess. Actually, I should save, having dealt with that one. Aha! I think I can manhandle these as much as I like, so long as I don't get anything smacking past the metal bars and into the nitroglycerin. Which isn't how real nitroglycerin works. In my experience, brackets experience here refers to watching cowboy movies. Brackets cowboy movies here refers to Wild Wild West starring Will Smith. Which I think was unfairly maligned. It was actually, actually, it's just a, a dumb, fun movie. All right, that's another one down. Like, if you want a, a meat-headed blockbuster action fest, like it's some of the, you know, it's great fun. Uh, I think, I think the fun '80s and '90s dumb action fests have a spark that modern dumb action fests don't have. We really are in an era of, like, po-faced sarcasm, absolute mandatory aloofness, um, whereas I think that movies were allowed to actually care about the things that they were doing, even if the things they were doing were dumb back then. All right, 15 meters, 21 meters, 10 meters. 15 meters up. Oh, I enjoy, I enjoy Mr. Smith's movie and TV career, but I don't think I've ever listened to any of his music that wasn't the Fresh Prince theme. Alright, that seems like a safe place to put a robot that I don't like. Yes! I can't believe that that went perfectly. That's the first time I've actually managed to pull that off. Right, what the fuck was I doing? I'm not here to kill robots. Five meters up, twelve meters up, five meters up over there, okay. I'm starting to wonder what the point of your autonomous robot collective is 
like four. These are supposed to be security robots. Why am I, one guy with a sledgehammer, having such an easy time destroying them? I think that I think the security robots are the like crypto of oh fuck. Whew, it's alright. Of like cyberspace cyberpunk tech solutions. They'll solve all of your problems. Provided your problems are that you don't have warbots. If you've got any other problems, they don't tend to solve them. They just make more. Oh, now this actually is a decent place for me to put the damn thing. Well, I mean, not like that, but... I brought a lot of weapons, but I don't have a machine gun. The robots have machine guns and flamethrowers. I don't have one of those either. Actually, some of them do have rocket launchers. You know before you get all high and mighty about who has what. Uh, I, I fought one with rocket launchers last mission, or the mission before, rather. Uh-oh. Do you think it saw me? I think we're all right. <laughs> Can't believe there's another one over there. I right, should be able to pull off the same trick again here, but first I want to make sure I get rid of that robot before he causes me too many problems. Must be the same one I saw here previously. If I can lure him over to this area, I should be able to get stuck on walls. No, ah, fuck. Oh, this is my leaf blower. I thought it was my rocket launcher. No wonder I was struggling. Chase me over here, I think. <laughs> what happened here? I must have fought one ages ago. If I sneak up on it, will it see me? Shit. It might. Okay, it can break cables, good to know. Robot Shibari is not the answer. On the other hand, it does seem to be a bit stuck. Oh, no, it's free. Let's see if I can get it to come down here. If it stands on that, I can just drop it right down. But will it? Where is he? Oh, he's going the long way around. Oh, shit. I guess I'm not the only one who can be tricked into falling into a hole and landing in ice water. Might be a way up over here. Cables are pretty strong, but they're broken uh, if they're stretched too hard or if they are like over put into the wrong. Uh, if if they're like given damage specifically to the cable. Where is he? This deadly duel's gone on too long. Resilient motherfuckers, aren't they? Uh, 
There we go. Was it worth it? I'm not sure, but I got him in the water and that's the important thing. Uh, I don't know if cables can be stretched to breaking point um, by weight, but they can by force. If you tie cables to the back of a car and put a bunch of rockets on the car, um, they'll get snapped by the force of being pulled. Um, the same is true of the, like, they'll snap if the robots pull them hard enough as well. The more you know. And I know this because I've, I've spent a while fucking around in creative mode from time to time, just to see the limits of the simulation. That's pretty much the only time I've played this not on stream. Didn't catch it that time, but luckily it landed on one end. That was close. Do 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 do. Only two to go. Nearly done. was a good plop noise. There's a lot of really good foley work in this game. I don't know if it's all from sound libraries or if it's custom sound effects, but like there's a lot of good explosions and zaps and crashes, and especially that kind of like gentle gabloosh of a rounded heavy object dropping into a pool of water. 14 up, 26 up. I suppose it's for the best that the game doesn't let you kill them. Because, like, it would be trivial if you could just explode them to death. Like, oh, hey, I can just drag this one and do the same trick again. I feel like this mission uh, is vulnerable to me coming up with a single solution that just works. But if you could if you could just like kill the robots as a fight, then and then it would be really weak. But yeah, no, tricking them into the water or, or knocking them into the water is, is part of the puzzle, so that works. I'm fine with that, but if I hadn't trapped that one in the lift, I could be using the lift to get up and down here much more safely. <laughs> I suppose that's the sacrifice when you use a lift to trap a deadly robot. Looks like we're about to be home safe, as they say. You know, it's funny, people do say that, and I never really thought before about how inane it is. Uh oh. Oh. Oh god, when was my last quick save? Was it before I dropped it down the slope? I hope so. No. Oh, all the way here? Oh, that's not the end of the world. Okay. 
Trying to be careless because I've already done this once. I like. Uh, oh, it's a shame that it's not leaving a trail dragging in the snow, actually. It's smart enough to do that for my footprints, but not the. Uh, not the drag of this thing. Oh shit! Oh, the one that I found in there was the one I trapped in the lift earlier, and it and it broke its way out of the lift wall eventually. That explains why there was another one there. I'll have a quick look at that actually. Oh, that's not the lift shaft. Huh, okay. Is the one I trapped on top of the elevator still up there? No. It made a hole in the roof. Oh, there was a secret room here that I forgot about. Okay. But how did it get back down again if it, if it went through the roof? Hmm. Concerning, but not a question to be fiddling with right now. So we remember to quick save. Might line that one up right. Let's try that again. I love the detritus of my previous attempts left lying around. falling faster and harder? Is it because it's tumbling? Or have I messed something up? I wonder what would happen if I left it tied to the thing and drove the thing over the edge. Stop moving. Hmm. I made this work three times, right? So why is it failing now? Oh, hang on. Maybe if I try and get it across to here. Might be easier to get down. Although now, how do I get back up? Oh dear. There we go. I win again. Okay, now I just need to get it to the exit. Actually, I should quick save here on the grounds that it took me some effort to get this down here. That just leaves one.
That was close, Jesus Christ. Okay, right, last one. You can tell I'm getting tired because I've run out of things to say about the game, about myself, about my life, about video games in general, about this game, about robots, about nitroglycerin, about fighting robots with nitroglycerin. Stealing nitroglycerin from robots, in fact. Ten meters up. Is it up in the employee dinner hall? I think it is. Bye, Alice. Nice to see you. I'm glad you had fun. Pfft. Why is there nitroglycerin up here? In all honesty. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Where any, you know, lying about where anyone could steal it. Uh oh. Right, how can I get rid of this one? I suppose I could just let it chase me. Can I get it in the lift and send the lift down? No, but I can trap it in here and let it go up, which is not much of a help, ultimately. I could just, I could just knock it off here. I could just knock it off the edge. If it will chase me all the way back here, which it should. Of course, the danger is that it might shoot me with bullets while I'm while I'm making it do that. Now, huh? See, if I can just get it far enough away, it won't be a problem. I can kick the can down the road. But where will it go once it loses sight of me? Oh, can I knock him down the hole? Get in the fucking hole. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, hang on a second. I cut its cable. What does that mean? Oh, fuck. If I cut both of its cables, will it die? Can I kill them? Are they actually killable? discovery right here at the 11th hour because that well that would mean i could snipe their cables out from safe distance if i really wanted to okay very close to finishing this mission but inquiring minds want to know where did it go there it is both its cables. Oh, it looks fine. It looks like it's completely uninhibited. <laughs> it looks like this didn't make a difference. Did I kill it? Oh, fuck, no. There 
There we go, you roly poly motherfucker. My last rocket. <laughs> the epic battle of titans. Oh, you think it might stop it from turning its head? That's interesting. I might look that up and see if anyone else knows. Because I'm genuinely curious now. I feel like... The fact that it was cut and went twang, I feel like that's got to mean something. But what it means is a mystery. Alright, we, we should be golden. Should be possible to just get the fuck out now. drag this all the way around the front, but I think it's actually probably going to be faster to go this way. I think I can just get it down the staircases and out. I think I made too much work for myself the other, t the other, the last one. Because there's like an elevator over here somewhere, which I know because we put a car in it earlier. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, that's where it is. It still works after I resolutely fucked it up attempting to put a robot down it. It does seem to be. It is really weird that the car didn't go down. Because the other elevators will lift cars and things. What was what was strange about this one? What was different? Something on the like unintentional on like the physics side of things, but it's still very weird. sense with cutting the cables is, is if they were like hydraulic cables and yeah like maybe one cable cut means that it can't turn its head and two cables cut means that it like um can't can't move its legs as well i think that would be a good way to make the mechanics work that isn't how they've made it in the game i don't know how they've done it in the game but it would be cool wouldn't it? And that's all, all that we really care about, is things that would be cool. What's up? What? what happened to his palm tree? Why is his palm tree smashed? I didn't do that. Anyway, that's probably going to be it from me for today. I just want to see what the next mission is. Tracy. That's his mum. Business has been good lately. We should celebrate. Do you want to come over to Cullington for dinner tomorrow? I can make that mushroom casserole you love. And then... Ah, uh, good lord. It is my great pleasure that I present to you the truck's terminator. Behold its glory. I have instructed my people to deploy this marvel tomorrow. It will be such a joy watching it take care of my problems. Once and for all. As a token of my appreciation for your sublime work, I've arranged a small gift. Since we have managed to keep each other's identities and whereabouts concealed, I had it placed in the warehouse on Hollow Rock Island. Pick it up at a convenient time for you. I'm certain you can find your way in. And then there's a raid on Hollow Rock as well. Interesting. So. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.